And now, after I'm done coughing all over you, I apologize. Um, we have a very interesting matchup. We have Aso with the Renegades, and we have something I can really criticize up here. We have Ibors playing my boys, the Marines. So he's starting off correctly. He is. This is uh, seems to be the net put style of uh, build where you put your factory down immediately and just uh, halt production focus from it. I hope Ibors knows uh, the c the correct way to play the net put build and isn't going to entirely screw his early economy here. But this looks good building wise. He's got the uh, factory going down. Um, yep, that looks like the idle animation, I believe. I think that's the thingy animation. I I need to learn these animations better so I can do this. I see, I'm seeing idle a lot, which makes me think this is the idle animation. This is what he should be doing, is not making anything from here because he can't afford it. He's made this factory too early and he can't afford it. The advantage of this build is that you get a fast attack. The disadvantage of this build, there he goes, he started making ogres now as his third harvest is about together. That is perfect. Um, the disadvantage of this build is that you end up with less ogres early on. But as I've shown with my new sort of greedier build uh that you will see if you've watched any of my games versus zerton um in a lot of matchups less ogres is actually fine uh, the older more aggressive way uh where you delay your factory and start making ogres immediately is actually um is actually uh, s seemingly sort of over the top with ogres now because you don't have enough ogres really to kill any good players but you have more than you need to defend now this this harpy's getting away with a lot uh this sort of thing has happened to me a few times in the past where you just you just don't notice and it's actually interesting that he chose to attack the uh hq because um you do not get a warning with that i believe you get a warning if your harvester gets attacked but not if a building gets attacked, which is why uh, when you're har harassing these sort of things, it's often better to attack the refinery, I believe, because I don't think they get the harvesters attack notes for that. I'm not sure. This right here. Anyone who plays this faction should know that you can almost always beat Marines super consistently with a play like this. It's normally four rocket cars. Now, this he's got a bit scared here, but what you do... Is you just go for these harvesters now what i hope he does is go straight through the middle and up round this side and he is it looks like he is doing that so rocket cars kill harvesters incredibly fast if he was just to skip past this marine and go up to there and start those four attacking this right now these would not get there until it was already dead right you can see he's even got an early scout on it and he's run it away. Well, I mean, there we go. Look, and he leaves. Doesn't need to lose any rocket cars because he, he knows he's already stopped mining for a bit. And he can just go back onto this side now. And that's all you need to do is just keep hopping from side to side. He hasn't even afflicted any damage now. But you can really pull their army apart by doing this. <laughs> I cannot believe this. Is, this has been let to go so, so far. If this gets destroyed by that, that's going to actually be incredible. That that would be a real impressive way to go out of the first round of the 8-bit uh, Invitational Ladder Wars tournament. Uh, sponsored by Game Replays, I guess, even though there's no prize, so it's not really sponsored by anyone. But uh, shout out to Netput for putting this tournament on. And here, uh, right here is what not to do versus Marines. Right, hold on, I need to, um, there we go. Um, this sort of harass, I liked the idea of it, but, like, this should be happening, right? Four rocket cars here aren't going to help much. Uh, but a fight like this even, like, is so hard to do, and he's actually gone for a lot of tech and a lot of, uh, these fire things, which I don't think are super useful versus marines. Um, I think you can honestly stay on tier one, uh, as, uh, guardians, I think you honestly stay on tier one until you get to tier three, because... You know, these and engineers, I think engineers are better than these. Again, more people making grenadiers, but I think you should have it. more engineers. Engineers repairing rocket cars, lots and lots and lots of rocket cars rather than these flame things. They'll do a lot of damage to ogres, which are going to be the majority of the force. And you can just, they have such movement, you can just entirely like pop in and just hit, run away, hit, run away. And uh, unlike with rocket troopers, 
which ogres uh, will always have an advantage against because they can just walk at them. They cannot be crushed, and they can actually stop the ogres from firing by getting away with them. I think this is a large composition mistake, which is why he's going to get uh, destroyed by these so heavily. And I think he should have maybe gone in more on these as well. Like, if you ran, like, like in a lot of these maps, you can get around the back. If instead of pushing up here and getting scared and running away, he'd pushed up here, saw the ogres, and went, all right, fuck the ogres. Ran up here, did a load of damage to this. When the ogres catch you up, you run around here. Get around to this side, do a load of damage to this from this side. The ogres are having to chase you around. They might go around that way. They might have to run around this. You just keep pulling them apart, running back here and back here and then hopping around. Doing that sort of thing really pulls marines apart because you cannot fight marines, right? In these early stages of the games, like, there is almost no composition, especially not this weaker composition but there is almost no composition you can get which will like deal with marine strongly you can see he manages to hold this off uh, a lot better than I thought he would actually um, he's getting a lot of uh, grenadier hits on these sort of stationary ogres but if he would been just harassing this thing like he can just look he's got another army and this army is almost the size of the first army that did so much damage. Look at that. Look how slow they are as well, killing that. That's so bad. And, uh, yeah. Your main base. I, I said this would be a fantastic uh, way to get uh, knocked out of the um, ladder wars. <laughs> but that single hero harpy just just can't can we can we go back to just see the moment where that happened please i just want to i just want to zoom in on this magnificence look at this from the start of the game has been happening oh well ignore all this all this fight that's being won look at that look at that and everything is now powered down this is going to finish making but then he has to just make this that is 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 <laughs> so funny and he's now going for the air. Here we go. Heavy drones. And this is something we can now criticize this for. Right? Uh, he's just keeping making ogres, which is all right. Um, but I think... So, I'm going to just let this play and chat about this. But the reason I kept making ogres versus Zerton was because against Guardians, uh, they're going to have a lot of rocket troopers, which Manticores will be awful against. And their helicopters are going are super fast, so they're going to be backline harassing you a lot. You need the fast strikes to deal with them. Here, firstly, he needs strikes. Like, he has no air, he needs strikes. Oh, look, he, oh, there we go. He hasn't actually even teched. He literally has just been going this super early game. Lots of factories play. And so, early game, this is better, definitely. But I don't think he needed so many factories again going back to what i was saying earlier you know that's a production cycle this i believe is three cycles whereas if he'd been getting strikes out he would have all of the air done and he's still not going for strikes he might be going this and then strikes but you know you could have had healy bots out sooner i mean i could see against uh renegades uh not going for strikes so quickly obviously but you need to be able to have strikes out when these heavy drones come out or to have manticores out quicker. Uh, I really think this uh, was not an incredible build by Abors. Uh, but, I mean, that harpy, you know? You can't argue with that, honestly. Uh, he's got to this late game state now, and now this is the sort of time where it is more okay to have some, some more manticores in here because it's going to be a lot of artillery. There are going to be snipers as the infantry, but... They are not incredibly, um, like there's not so many of them that you need a ton of ogres to deal with. But this is the stage of the game where it actually should get really hard for marines. Now, because uh, Aso's economy is so trashed, it's not going to be that bad. So you can just have his ogres walk at the snipers, although they're sort of standing still. But this air just cannot fight against these manticores. Like, oof, oof, this is painful. And then there we go, look, so a couple of snipers get stomped there, a couple of snipers getting killed by ogres, and that leaves the manticores out. And when you've got artillery 
and air drones versus manticores. Manticores kill both of those. Manticores are sick. Manticores are so good. People don't build manticores enough. Um, they also look like they're from Mechwarrior. I fucking love them. They're great. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's not. I, I've been sort of analysing little bits of this game because, honestly, he lost his base to a to a harpy. Like, there's, that's that's really hard to come back from. Um, but I actually, honestly, I don't know too much about this matchup because I think this late game army, if you can get to it without having to rebuild your, your HQ, is actually really hard for Marines to deal with because even though you can sort of spam Manticores a bit, like the range advantage does become really strong. Um, I think Ibor sh definitely should have a drone building by now. I'm surprised he doesn't. I think this was too late. But I mean, you know, uh, maybe with this Harpy in the base, he thought, you know, he definitely, getting more factories earlier was definitely a good call because, like I said, Ogres versus Grenadiers and Flame Tanks even. He was making Flame Tanks. It's so good. So good. You just can't beat that. Um, I would have liked to see more uh, Micro from ASO. But overall, this was a fun as hell series. Some different builds, some perhaps less refined, but maybe more interesting builds. And, uh, yeah, this has been uh, very enjoyable to uh, watch with you. Um, I maybe should have... Const I, sh I sort of assumed this build would be uh, quite solid, and I, I think I had other things to talk about. I was talking so much about the rocket car harassment, which I think it can be so strong if done right. Um, yeah. I, I, this game was super fun. Thank you for watching. Uh this is the last Ladder Wars game that has been played so far. Um, the next Ladder Wars games that I will upload will be, uh, I believe, Netput, the man himself, versus Proven Supreme. That I am very excited to watch, especially as uh, I haven't seen much Proven Supreme since he hasn't been playing much uh, because uh, of uh, not having a ladder reset. Um I saw him a bit when I first started playing, but I haven't really got to play against him or see him play since I've got better at the game. And I'm really excited to see also Netput, um, arguably the best Marine player in the game. Although, obviously, I would say that was me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm really excited to see uh, what Netput has to give us in this in this fight. Um Thank you for watching. I hope you like and subscribe. And I am going to try and do some more of these. Uh, part of me wants to keep all of the Ladder Wars ones together, but eh, I'll probably uh, probably get too uh, excited to do some more of these and and find some uh, interesting Soloku games. I have a couple of my own games which I might I might go back and watch. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I think I, I think that's the third time I've said this. I really am rambling. Goodbye.